Hello all, myself Suresh Kumar. This is our 22nd, cl 22nd class. In this class, we will discuss about um, again I to see. I just uh, this is a simple class. This is a, uh, uh, I just an add on another one component with that uh, uh, sensor network in I to see uh, based uh, uh, component with the with my microcontroller. I just interface it and see how it works see what it happens huh? here I am just interfacing that uh, DS1307 that is an RTC chip um, here I am uh, pick that uh, device from my pick device uh, here it is just click on it here first uh, select this and then come back to P pick devices just type it DS1307 you got it now uh, this is from maximum semiconductor a lot of manufacturer in uh, uh, RTC chip manufacturer what is an RTC? RTC is a, is a kind of maintaining the time uh, when the processor is switched off that time also this is maintaining the time uh, in your laptop also have an RTC yeah it has a clock and uh, data line is there I'm just connecting that clock line into my the cl my clock line already created that application already previous I uh, we discussed about that uh, class previous class and just connected that same line the two pins clock and uh, data lines into my uh, i2c network and uh, i doesn't do anything uh, right now it's the same thing is here Uh, here I made a uh, uh, I added uh, RTC chip and uh, making some program different uh, I added some simple codes for uh, to get that uh, RTC uh, uh, working for working uh, here, it is the, here it is the code uh, and this is then our RTC chip uh, this uh, DS1307 this is our uh, RTC chip. Uh, when we stop this, uh, when we why we are going to use this RTC chip? RTC chip is ma maintaining the uh, clock, uh, real time clock. Uh, uh, if you want to, if you in this uh, microcontroller doesn't have um, uh, maintaining the. Uh, uh, clock when the when these are going to power down more that time this uh, device have uh, on battery connected with inbuilt connected with this rtc chip so this is uh, uh, this is parallelly uh, uh, which means this is uh, separately maintained the current time so when the uh, processor is again powered on that time the this uh, Mm, and uh, current time will be sended through the I2C line. So the uh, 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 current time can be uh, we can uh, uh, see it in this uh, processor when the uh, power is going down, uh, which means uh, power is switched off for this uh, controller. That time uh, this this is not maintaining the time. That time only we going for uh, uh, this RTC chips. Uh, in our laptop, we have an RTC chip. In our uh, cell phone, in, uh, right now, uh, the cell phone doesn't uh, have a RTC chip, RTC chip because uh, that uh, uh, this is cell. Our smartphones are uh, have uh, some uh, new kind of RTC chips are available inside our uh, processor, so doesn't need an RTC battery and our pc have an rtc chip um, uh, it has an rtc uh, battery we will uh, we can see it inside our uh, motherboard 
and also laptop have a uh, RTC battery is available um, and uh, in this uh, today's cell phones are uh, very advanced so we don't want that uh, RTC chip or RTC battery uh, because that smartphones are connected with uh, our server main server uh, that operating system server so that uh, server can provide through network the uh, 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 available clock uh, all the uh, clocks are running in our server so we can uh, uh, so that cell phone can sync with that server so uh, no need a current time that will be enabled through internet uh, so uh, that's uh, that is also one thing and then uh, I, So uh, here is that uh, I already uh, connected with that my I2C network this uh, DS1307 um, and it has also data sheet it has also format to uh, get the value from this uh, chip RTC chip uh, you can google it uh, DS1307 dot uh, PDF you can get uh, minus Texas instrument a uh, lot of manufacturer RTC chip manufacturer are there so you can download anyone uh, and uh, just go to uh, 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 steps programming uh, you can uh, uh, the I to see read mode and write mode this is our read mode first uh, we will send a start bit then again 1101 one, one. Uh, this is the default for this RTC chip 1101 one, one, which means 8421 uh, 84 uh, 8, 4 are 12 and uh, 8 plus 4 are 12 and plus 1 are 13 uh, 10 for A 12 uh, 12 uh, 11 for B and uh, 12 for C uh, 13 for D so this is uh, D first uh, hexa value of, uh, last most significant bit the one that nibble is d then 0 0 0 then write uh, i already told you write means uh, z, uh, 0 um, read means 1 uh, in this case uh, 0 0 1 so i am using i am here i am going to uh, 0 uh, d 0 this is first my itc started and uh, I to see right D0 this for uh, 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 the setup of this uh, I to see read mode and then this is the protocol um, then uh, sub address in this have sub address uh, in this uh, RTC chip we have a sub address that is here it is sub address 0 into 0, 0 for seconds to display the seconds and 0 into 0, 1 for uh, display the minutes 0 into 0, 2 for uh, sent hours, clock hours, century time and uh, sent enable bit uh, in 0 into 0, 3 for day uh, in the 0 into 0, 4 for date 0 into 0, 5 for month 0 into 0, 6 for years 0 into 0 for calibration and configuration we can uh, uh, calibrate and we can uh, set the time 0 to 0 8 for uh, trickle charge enable configuration these kind of sub buttons are there uh, and another uh, some uh, special function registers we can set it special function key 1 special function key 2 uh, spell, special function uh, registers as the first uh, right now I'm just uh, showing that uh, seconds of these uh, seconds uh, in my uh, terminal uh, window so my sub address is address is 0 into 0 0 so I am just putting 0 into 0 0 uh, okay uh, here it is my uh, sub address 0 into 0 0 then again I'm, I am going to start uh, here is uh, the acknowledgement will be come to my uh, processor then I am uh, making start and another again repeated start this is called repeated start then uh, again I send 1101 then 0001 which means uh, D1 I am send it uh, this is for uh, reading mode 
uh, and then uh, the data will be uh, come from my R2C chip. So I am just reading that uh, 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 values uh, I2C data and put into my uh, variable that is seconds. I just created a variable seconds uh, and then uh, it uh, after uh, getting the data uh, I got na na NAC uh, which means na na not acknowledged then uh, I am going to stop that uh, in that protocol so I am going to just stop it okay this is the uh, RTC chip uh, to enabling the um, uh, timer uh, enabling the RTC chip and get the value uh, uh, and get the seconds from my RTC chip DS1307 chip okay uh, see what happens right now I am just uh, and then uh, I'm going to call this function my main loop, and then uh, I'm just printing uh, in uh, my terminal window. Okay, I'm just click it. Okay, okay, I'm just run it. Uh, uh, in this uh, simulator, uh, taking uh, my uh, system clock. So in this system, in this RTC chip have uh, right now the system class clock is uh, running inside this uh, 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 chip. Uh, time is 8, 27, 15 second. Date is 27, 7, 2016. Right now uh, the seconds is 32. Uh, uh, yeah, it has an, this RTC chip, chip is uh, providing only BCD uh, value. So that's why uh, uh, the uh, seconds are showing like this. It is uh, jumps from uh, 19 to 26 or something else because that is uh, providing a BCD value. So we can convert the uh, BCD to binary value. Sorry, uh, yeah, yes, we can convert uh, uh, from BC to binary value. Then we will uh, convert our decimal uh, seconds for our seconds. Uh, here it is, you can see it, uh, 80 seconds in seconds. So, no. 86 seconds no uh, uh, we can uh, 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 convert that uh, uh, BC to binary uh, you just google it how to convert that uh, uh, BC, to con BC to binary then you got a simple uh, calculation so you just make it as an algorithm that calculation as an algorithm you just convert that uh, uh, logic into our uh, programming algorithm okay uh, thanks for watching uh, please subscribe my channel uh, this is our uh, 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 i2c and rtc uh, c right now i am connected with uh, uh, same network uh, in i2c same network i am just again i am just uh, changing this value also this is uh, providing the temperature sensor one is 10 24 right now uh, my sensor one is 1150 1116 yes it's also working uh, yeah all the sensors are also working the seconds also uh, working here it is i'm just uh bringing to increasing my sensor temperatures here it is you can see it it's working uh, thank you for watching please subscribe my channel